This is Safi's Farm Lab, exploring if harvesting mice as corn or chaff is making more money. A couple of days ago, I was wondering during one of my gameplay episodes whether it makes more sense financially to harvest mice as corn or as chaff. I did not know the answer, but found it intriguing. Spoiler alert, it depends, with chaff tending to more favorable. In the gameplay, I do own neither a corn header nor a forage header for chaffing mice. So the capital expenditure would be there no matter what. But which route to go if I would plant mice? Time to put the lab coat on again and get to the bottom of it. I'm not going to include assessing different types of equipment. I'm also not going to be using currency figures. What I'm going to find is the ratio by which the corn needs to be valued more at the time of sale than chaff or silage at time of sale. And to find that ratio, I need to find out how much chaff or silage volume I get from a given field versus how much corn I would get of the same field. Using my regular lab environment, no man's land, I found a volunteer. The existing field. Just don't let it know as of yet as I have planned this as a surprise. I planted the field with mice or corn if you're in the US and fully fertilized it during the growth stages. Once the field was fully grown, I saved the game and made a clone of it. I harvested the same field twice, once for corn and once for chaff. As I'm starting with the same field, time traveling back to before the harvest, the comparison is based on the same raw incoming conditions. As corn, I harvested 6,719 liters. As chaff, I harvested 52,603 liters, plus or minus. The volume changes a bit when tipping from the trailer into the bunker silo, as well as when picking up chaff that ran over at the ends. In this example, it's around 50 liters it's moving around. We can disregard this as it's relatively small amount, 0.1% relatively speaking. I mention it as the numbers don't add up exactly. And this is a ratio of 100 to 703 corn to chaff or silage. Exactly it's 782.899 but 783 is close enough. A few more considerations to throw into the mix as it is a far larger volume in chaff or silage, the logistics of transporting need to be taken into account. Also, silage needs to be moved first as chaff, then compacted needs time to ferment to be loaded again as silage. All this with approximately eight times more volume. As the volume does not change from chaff to silage, the ratio stands. It's possible, depending on the map you're playing, that you can sell chaff and or silage. For this comparison, it comes down to the question which way generates more money. You have the ratios. There's also the question if you can break even when selling as chaff or if you need to ferment to silage. Then the additional logistics as well as the area for the bunker silo need to be taken into consideration. So how do you know which route to take? I'll do an example calculation out of the gameplay I'm doing right now. The numbers on your map in your play might look different. That is why I'm giving you the ratio so you can calculate for yourself. I'm playing for Seasons Enabled, so we'll give you the current prices as well as the highest possible prices as two individual examples. 
With the current prices, corn is standing at 803, Jeff at 77 and silage at 150. As we need a ratio of 100 to 783 for chaff or silage to corn, when basically on the corn price, we need to be able to sell chaff or silage for 103. We calculate 803 divided by 783 and the result times 100. With the max prices, corn is at 840, chaff is 80 and silage is 130. So doing our calculation based on a corn price of 840, we need to be able to sell chaff or silage at 107. By calculating 840 divided by 783 and the result times 100. In both these examples in my gameplay, I'd come out on top if I'd chop the mice to chaff and ferment it to silage. The conditions in your gameplay may vary. And now you know how to evaluate for your situation. As mentioned, I'm neglecting the costs of equipment, as well as the additional logistics for the volume. Postscriptum. Chaff as such can be either sold to a store, a sell point, or to a BGA. This changes the sell point, the sell modality and the income. This is a different video. Also a different consideration is what route to take to get chaff or silage. Different fruits can be chopped into chaff and for some even different growth stages can be used. If you are playing with seasons enabled, the consideration of multiple harvest becomes an additional dimension in this comparison. Again, this is its own video topic. This is Cephas Farm Lab exploring if harvesting mice is corn or chaff is making more money.